from a suburban home to a stately home. Kedleston Hall in Derbyshire has been the residence of the Lord Scarsdale since 1757. And if its magnificent architecture has remained the same for generations, its upkeep is an increasingly more difficult problem. Once, Kedleston had a staff of 29. Now, there are scarcely half a dozen, including Lord and Lady Scarsdale, who have to polish and preen Kedleston in order to satisfy the critical trippers who pay to view this glory of a gracious age. With his ancestors watching over him, Lord Scarsdale, described by his wife as a general handyman, part-time gardener and chauffeur mechanic, cleans the armory's collection till it shines. Nothing less would impress the small boys whose sticky fingers normally brandish rifles wired up fashion. Wander around Kedliston and forget the modern world. That's fine for the tripper, but the modern world's implements certainly help when you've got a mile of armor to polish. Incongruous, a powered polisher may look, but then so do masses of motor coaches driving up to Adam porticos. For half a crown a time, you can include the Scarsdale coronation robes in your view of a world that was yesterday. Just a touch of paint and the job is almost complete. On the south front of Kedliston, there's a Latin inscription which translated means for myself and my friends. Whoever put that there can hardly have imagined that there would be so many friends or that their lord and ladyships would have had to work so hard to entertain them. But then who could have imagined any aspect of the world as it is today, except perhaps the one thing that never alters, the Englishman's insistence on a nice cup of tea. <laughs> 